Cats may be known for their aloof attitudes, but don't let that fool you. Cats are just as capable of feeling love and affection as dogs are. People often forget that cats have delicate feelings, too. Contrary to popular belief, cats can form strong attachments to their owners and even show signs of grief when someone they love is gone. In this video, we'll talk about 20 surprising ways you could be hurting your cat's feelings. Pets Connection – Connecting you even more with your pet Number 20. Lack of Attention Cats are social animals and need attention and affection from their owners. If they feel ignored or neglected, it can be emotionally damaging for them. They may become anxious, depressed, or even start bringing you gifts, aka dead mice, to show you how much they care for you. Number 19. Lack of Socialization Cats that are not socialized to people and other animals during the critical socialization period, around two to seven weeks of age, may have difficulty forming social bonds and may become anxious or fearful of other people. This can lead to emotional distress and even affect their ability to form close bonds with their owners. Another situation that really makes your cat hurt emotionally by being depressed and anxious is separation from their owners. Number 18. Separation from owners. Cats can form strong bonds with their owners and can become anxious or depressed when separated from them for long periods of time. They may become clingy, stop eating, or display other signs of distress when separated from their owners. Trust us, you don't want to come home to a cat that is so happy to see you that it pees on your leg. Are you one of those people who leaves your cat alone for a long time? Careful, this can affect your cat emotionally. Number 17. Being alone all the time. Cats are social animals and need social interaction to stay emotionally healthy. Cats that are left alone for long periods of time without any socialization or stimulation can become depressed. They may become lethargic, stop grooming and lose interest in activities they once enjoyed. Even if you like cats, you don't want to live with a feline zombie. Number 16. Lack of Mental Stimulation Cats need mental and physical stimulation to keep them happy and healthy. Lack of toys, puzzles and other engaging activities can lead to boredom and emotional distress. They can become destructive or aggressive if not given enough mental stimulation. And trust us, you don't want your cat to start redecorating your house with its claws. Number 15. Lack of proper nutrition. Cats need a well-balanced diet to maintain their physical and emotional health. Lack of proper nutrition can lead to emotional distress. They can become lethargic, lose weight, or develop other health problems if they don't get proper nutrition. And nobody wants a malnourished and skinny cat, right? We're still at number 14, and I'm sure you'll be blown away by the top 10 on our list. By the end of this video, you'll be proficient and know how to please your feline friend. Number 14. Lack of Social Hierarchy Cats are social animals and need to understand their place in the social hierarchy. If they feel threatened or unsure of their place, it can be emotionally distressing for them. They can become anxious or aggressive if they don't understand their place in the social hierarchy. They may start to challenge the other pets or humans in the house for dominance. Number 13. Lack of Outdoor Access Cats are natural hunters and need opportunities to explore and hunt to stay emotionally healthy. If they are denied access to the outdoors, it can lead to emotional distress. They can become anxious or destructive if they don't have access to the outdoors. They may start trying to escape or scratching at the windows to try to get out. Number 12. Lack of opportunities to play play is an important part of a cat's mental and physical well-being. Lack of opportunities to play can lead to emotional distress. They can get bored or aggressive if not given enough opportunities to play. They may start attacking your ankles or toes just to have something to do. Number 11. Lack of access to scratch. It might sound strange, but cats need outlets for their natural behaviors like scratching. If they don't have access to the appropriate resources, it can be emotionally distressing for them. They may start scratching your furniture or curtains to meet their scratching needs. How cool, huh? Did you know that? Let us know in the comments section. So we come to the top 10 things that emotionally hurt your cat. These next tips will make a difference in the relationship between you and your cat.
Number 10. Lack of a consistent routine. Cats thrive on routine and can become anxious or distressed when their routine is disrupted. They may become agitated or stop eating if their routine is disrupted. They may start waking you up at odd hours or demanding constant attention. Number 9. Lack of access to a litter box. Cats are demanding animals and need access to a clean litter box to maintain their emotional and physical health. If they don't have access to a litter box, it can be emotionally distressing for them. They may start to eliminate outside the litter box or refuse to use it altogether. So you already know, right? No neglecting your litter box. Once the video is over, go there and check if everything is right. Number 8. Lack of Territory Cats are territorial animals and need their own space to feel safe. If they don't have a designated territory, it can be emotionally distressing for them. They may start to mark their territory all over the house or become aggressive towards other pets. Number 7. Lack of Privacy Cats value their privacy and need a place where they can retreat to feel safe. If they don't have a place to retreat to, it can be emotionally distressing for them. They may start hiding in strange places or become more aggressive towards people. Number 6. Lack of Cleanliness If there's one thing cats love, it's cleaning. Cats are demanding animals and need a clean environment to maintain their physical and emotional health. If the environment is dirty or unhealthy, it can be emotionally distressing for them. They may stop grooming themselves or become more aggressive with people. Number 5. Lack of structure. Cats need structure and boundaries to feel safe and secure. If they don't have a clear set of rules and boundaries, it can be emotionally distressing for them. They may start to act out or become more aggressive towards people. Number 4. Lack of predictability. Cats need predictability in their environment to feel safe and secure. If the environment is constantly changing or unpredictable, it can be emotionally distressing for them. They can become anxious or aggressive if their environment is constantly changing. How about taking advantage and leaving your like? This signals that this video is adding value and gives others the opportunity to watch and learn how sensitive and delicate cats are. And if you are not subscribed, take the opportunity and subscribe to our channel to always stay on top of everything about pets. Number 3. Lack of Physical Exercise Cats need regular exercise to maintain their physical and emotional health. Lack of opportunities to play and explore can lead to emotional distress. They can become overweight or develop other health problems if they don't get enough exercise. And let's be honest, nobody wants their feline friend to be a couch potato. Number 2. Lack of Affection Cats crave affection and attention from their owners. If they don't receive enough affection, they can become emotionally distressed. They can become more aggressive or less social if not given enough affection. And who doesn't want a caring friend on a cold winter night? Number 1. Lack of a safe and comfortable environment. Cats need a safe and comfortable environment to thrive. If they feel threatened or live in dirty or uncomfortable conditions, it can be emotionally distressing for them. They can become anxious or aggressive if they don't feel safe in their environment. You don't want your cat to turn into a paranoid, scratching maniac. Now answer me. Do you know how cats recognize and respond to hugs and kisses? What does a cat feel when we humans kiss it? Is there a special place that cats most like to be kissed? Follows on the final screen how cats recognize and respond to hugs and kisses. So click here and I'll explain everything to you. A big hug.